Jeff from uh, Jazzmeeton. And I'm just going to give you a quick run through of my uh, live stroke DJ setup. And then I'm going to show you some of the new features that are in uh, version 2 of the Lima. So come and have a look. Here we have a, um, an Ableton Live set. We've um, got three turntables, I guess, and I can play loops from these tracks from here. If I press refresh, I can get this information remotely from the live and a display on the screen of the Lima. Um, being able to remotely change object attributes like the colors and the names of objects, this is a new V2 feature. So I can fire a clip like this, move to another section of the track, I can actually see all of this by scrolling through. So this live API is a new, a new implementation in version 2. Uh, here I can do some filtering, high pass filter. I can actually lock this and I have a nice band pass filter. Another feature in V2 is you can write these little scripts that do cool stuff that you couldn't do before. Like if I hit this, it will automatically give us the whole frequency range. Okay. So over here, I have a tabbed container. This means that I have one container of objects, but I can press another tab and I have a whole new set of controls. So first on return one, I have this return channel. So here I can send this to a delay. Let me freeze that delay. Or if I want, I can switch to the second return track. And put some different effects on. A nice little feature on this setup is this uh, step sequencer over here. So now I can program some drums on top of my uh, DJ set. Like this. And a snare drum. And a clap. And maybe some shakers. I'll mute them to begin with, and I can edit the velocities here as well. Over here I can actually change the kits. Uh, this is kit number one, and here, kit number two. Or I can just change the snare drum, like that. And here's a little mixer so I can mix my drums. Maybe put some effects. 